Yo, what is going on, y'all? It's Dave Zisky back again with another reaction video. Man, we reacting to Beyond Scare Straight, man. So we ain't even gonna do so much talking. Let's get into it. You two brothers, ain't you? Yes, sir. Uh, is he older or younger? Young. Well, Matthew, I'm 12. I hit my mom. I lie. I've had the cops call me for hit my mom. Him pulling ass on. Now what on earth? Not gonna lie, like you make a twelve-year-old boy. But, um, nah, like hitting your mom is crazy. I'd be scared to hit my mom. I ain't go with you. Hit his mom and steal a gun. Now he literally got a roof over his head. He gets fed every day. He goes to school, and yet he ain't got no bills to pay. Now this little punk got a good. And you know what? This program is the best place for a person like him. The worst thing I've ever done is stole a gun. I was going over to my friend's house to play on a video game. I seen two guns on the dresser. Crazy. He never even knew that I had it right here. Crazy. I love guns. Treat me like you treat your mom. You're going to make sure you don't treat your mama like that no more. Now, first of all, Matthew handles that knife like a pro. Dude's got to be used to it. In fact, he pulls the gun out of his trousers in a grand style. Dude straight looks like he could be in a Bond movie or a Street Thug film. Tonight, he stays with you. I appreciate Tomorrow it. night, he stays with you. The next night he stayed with you. Dang. With so many choices no on booking.com, there are so many. No Diddy. You got different nights with different men. No Diddy. It's crazy work. Uh, blah, blah, blah. With you. Okay, now how we gonna teach you how to obey? I thought you were a thug. Thug don't cry. Did your mama ever seen you cry? Yes. She ain't never seen you cry like this. Like a you gotta stop crying. You gotta stop crying. Stop crying. I wanna go. Okay. That's what I need you to do. I need y'all to pray. And that's all to give you the strength. Yeah. Teach them young. <laughs> yeah. Got them boys praying. God, please let me go home. Now, since Matthew wants to be a grown bad boy, the officers pair him with some grown bad inmates as his roommates throughout his stay in jail. Now, Matthew breaks down immediately, and somehow we was expecting him to pull his Tom Cruise stunt on the inmates. Jail visit, I stopped hitting my mom, talking. Before the jail visit, I was afraid that Matthew would um, eventually end up dead somewhere. His outlook on life was better, where before he didn't care, now he cares about everything. Now, all Matthew needs is a miracle to get out of jail. because of Everything. I do. Treats his mom with the spec along with his brother Carter. He made honor roll at school and now plans to <sighs> apprentice with an Now all Matthew needs is a miracle to get out of jail. Cause those officers ain't moved by his tears. How you doing? Not good. You need to start giving your mom the same respect you give me when I'm home and when I'm not at work. I don't want you to hit me no more, okay? Yes, ma'am. Tell her what's gonna happen if you hit her again. He said, call him, and he'll break me in half. Well, me and you in discussion, and make a decision whether we want them to, we want them. Carter and Matthew have been acting all tough and disrespectful at home. Now, the twist here is that they really respect their dad, yeah. but look down on their mom. Now, it's pretty bad that Matthew. I mean, that's like that for a lot of boys. Like, really. The videos I've seen, that's like, it's like that for a lot of boys. He's even started hitting his own mom. Now, that's got to be when his parents decided to bring him to the program. For the weekend or if you've changed enough for you to come home. What you got to say? Okay. Okay. Bruh, his face is so pale. Like, if you look at how his face was before, like, his face wasn't that pale. He pale. He's scared. What? That's it? Look up. <laughs> bro, he's terrified. Wait, what did he say? He all in that man here. Gang, what? Bro, he's demanding him. And answer them before you get your ass whooped. He's 
you said look up and answer them before you get the last whoop, dang. You got to be stopped, bro. That's not right. Now, at first, Matthew still maintains his tough boy stance. But when the officer reminds him of what it's like to spend a weekend in jail, the dude breaks down. Have a seat. Who's that? My mama. What do you got to say to me? I'm sorry. Why should we let you come home? I learned my lesson. Vince, me a little bit better than this. Carter breaks down the moment he sees his parents. A few hours ago, the boys walked into the jail like the toughest kid on the block. But now they know the real deal. They act like they real age. I know. And we're trying to Can I come on? break you of the habit that you're on. Please, don't talk to him, please. I gotta come home. I can't be here. Bye. 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 It's a good thing the boy's dad came along with her mom. Now, the mom looks like she would have let her sons out immediately, but that man wants to make sure his kids don't repeat the same act ever again. You just got here, man. You just, you crying already. Catch the tears for you. Do you want me to catch it? I just caught it. I just caught it. Can you take orders? You know what push-ups are? Soon the position. Damn! My name is Jeffrey. I'm 14. I get in trouble for playing with BB guns, stealing, and lying. This is how you come to jail. BB guns? How you, I mean, what should we be doing with BB guns? That should be getting in trouble, gang. If you're going to be an inmate, you got to look like one. Step up. Move. Step up. Move. Get him Move. in the jumpsuit. Move. Get off of it. Move. Get off. Move. Move. Get off. Move. 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 Get off. Move. Do it. I can't put this jank on. I got jeans on. Dang. Shoot. What? 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 Look at my face. No. Take that attitude you got and do a big gulp and swallow it. Because I'm telling you, as long as you're chewing on it, we're going to make your life miss. Now, usually the kids get intimidated and break down when they see the inmates. But this time around, this boy hasn't even gotten into the cell yet, and he's crying a river. Now, hold up a minute. Did that officer really catch his tears? Now, that's beyond savage. Now, for do you smell it? Get up to that glass. Get up to the glass. That's what you deal with all day, all night. You uh, oh, yeah. He's touch kids. That's what you deal with all day oh. all night. Get up to the glass. That's what you deal with all day all night. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Licking the glasses. You understand? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna kill both of you. Come on. Single file. Now you coming to the real part of the jail. The ones don't give a damn. Look at the color of your uniform. Mm -hmm. Can you lie your way through this? Can you wait through this? Can you fight me? So you can deal with this every day in jail? Because right now it's just me, you, and everything you got in you to make you a man. This jail will take you, crush you, grind you up, right just like that. Mm -hmm. up. You could be in one of them blocks and somebody snatch you in the cell like that. This would happen every day in jail. Now, Jeffrey got to be so happy that this rude girl took the attention away from him. Ain't nobody really wants the officers in their face. Now, what's so special about Jeffrey that the inmates can't stop trying to reach him? Now, Jeffrey now knows that he better not come to jail for real. This is the female block. This is what you want. I'm not going in there. Who in there did you fight him? No. Let's keep walking in, doing nothing. You going in there. I don't want them to grab. You see how they in your face? They good for them. They in your face. But they ain't gonna handle me though. They are. They're not. I'm even mad. I smell fear. I smell fear. We bring them in, lock them down. Walk. <laughs> My goodness, they got me in tune, bro. Like, I'm scared just business, bro. And you know,
not working. Big and bad, fight me, bitch. Come on. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. So Tyshara came into jail acting like Nia Jack from WWE. But a few minutes into it, she just didn't want the inmates to grab her. Come here. I want to touch you right quick. Come here. Why you want to touch you for? Why are you asking questions? Yeah, I'm gay, bitch. Get that over here. You want to be bad, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, you want to come in my room? Guess no. what? That's my bitch right there. She can't do nothing. Until I you want to wash the drawers in the time, huh? That's what you got to do. I tell her to eat. When she take a bath, guess who wash her up? Wash her up. Boots, who wash you up? She you want to be like her? I don't know. I think you're going to come here. No, I, don't. I think you're not in here with us. And I bet you, when you go out there, you're going to bail your parents. She'll be back. She'll be back. Right that off. It's pretty. Bring your ass up here. Come see. Stand the up. Get the up. Get 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 up. Y'all better stand up. They call me the big homie. I'm in here for a possession with intent to distribute and possessing a firearm. My name is Allende, AKA the big homie. This is my block. Welcome to the trauma unit. Y'all have a choice. This is blood. Take advantage of your choices now, man. Now, why won't she throw a punch at the inmates? Isn't she the big bad girl that she claims to be? Don't lie to me now. Uh, hold it. Do you hear what I'm talking to you about? You in here with big boy, son. You know when you're going to be in there? You're going to be in that little room with me. And it ain't no fun in there. Because I don't play for you. You hear me? Yeah. Why you in here, bro? People said I was with them breaking the house. So come breaking over. the house. You like to break in the house. What if somebody come up in the crib and shoot you while you in the house, man? Me. Huh? Hey, man, clean up, man. I ain't even got no safety, man. Serve me up. Hey. Serve me up. Disclaimer, you guys, bro. I don't know what's going on today. You're going to meet me and sleep with me every day. You don't see your girlfriend. You see me. You coming up in my cell. I won't get where I first came in. When I first came in here, and they turned me into this little punk. This is the life you're gonna live. Now, the last place any of the teens want to be is in the kitchen or the shower in jail. Now, they just don't like it at all, but that's usually where they realize that they're weak and submit to the inmate. Who bought you them shoes? My mom. Your mom, give me them shoes, man. Take them shoes off. Take them shoes off. This is real, man. It's real, man. Boy, you laugh. You think it's a joke. Let's go over here, man. Let's go over here. Mm. You hear what I said? I said, let's go over here. Mm. Let's go. Money, money, money. But you are going to give them up. You're going to give them up. Stand up and make it easy for them. Stand up. They made it easy for them. Stand up. They made it easy for them. They made it easy for them. They made it easy for them. See, it's a lot of pressure when you come in here. They're my shoes. 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 they Man, all I gotta say is, man, y'all be respectful to y'all parents, man. Y'all wanna end up in that jail cell, crying and stuff. But I gotta go to school, man. I'll see y'all later, man. Peace. Dang. Now I gotta go for real, for real. Bye, y'all.